apparently the owner, creator, and designer of what's in this box saw my YouTube video and said, Hey, Jason, that was an awesome video. I really like that. How about we send you the next product that we've just designed for you to try out in your lab? And I was like, hey, I will not say no to free stuff, especially stuff that I like and works really, really well. So in this box, I'm going to open it and show you guys. It's pretty sweet to see people that watch my channel send me stuff and say that I do a good job on that. That's encouraging. So in this box, two big boxes of Rack Studs Series 2 Duos. Now these are the ones that are all in one, and these are the exact same ones that Alta Labs uses on their switches. What do we get when we open the box? Ah. Look at that. Exactly the same. These are the cat's meow. So instead of using the individual ones like these, where you have to use four of these or two of these for a switch or a rack mounted device, where you have to put this guy in, then the retainer clip, and then put the nut on. Not that I'm saying that's bad. I really like that because uh, when you have stuff that's beyond the one U, you can use these to space them out. So two years where if you have a screw or a post in the top and the bottom, they're the very top of a two or a one U or two U. These just snap in behind. And then we use the strong, sturdy nuts. I'll do a video in a second here showing how easy it is to put that in there. And when I installed my Ultalab switch in the rack, these just went in extremely easy and worked. So the owner, creator, and designer of this company, thank you very much for sending me these. I swear by these things at work. And uh, I really, really like them. So good design. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so we have the traditional rack studs here, which allows us to move these into different holes, which does this. And we could put our studs on there. But these ones, to install them, we just grab a pair. We look on the back side, there's a arrow that points up, so they have to go up. We put them into here like this, squeeze it just a little bit, and they snap in, they won't fall out. So then we'll check this one. Arrow goes this way. Look at our number. So we're in 10. Squeeze it just a little bit. Put it in. Grab four of these nuts. Like this. Go in like that. And just so you guys know, we put the bottom ones in first to take the weight off. One like that. If you feel any resistance with these going in, just back off a little bit and go in because they go on really, really nice. You don't want to cross thread these. They are kind of a plasticish. And hand tight, just like that. It's not going anywhere. Now, remember when I said the downfall of these is they only do one use, whereas these ones you can space them out. See on this shelf, there's only two holes, one on either side. So these allow us to space these out by moving this, moving these down, quick pull these out, squeeze this from the back, pull this down, put this in, put that back on, do the same thing from the other side. Put that back in. Take our shelf and put it in like that. And we'll use two nuts. If we do the bottom shelf, we'll see that this is pulling out. Put these two on. 
and done. Shelf won't go anywhere. You can put two in the top just in case if you wanted to. Go on like this. Oh, make sure they don't cross that. They do. They're very smooth when putting them on. And done. Pretty install, pretty easy install, and uh, pretty nice. Thank you very much to Rack Studs for sending me these. As you can tell, my rack's already using them. Sweet. Well, as you can tell, Rack Studs are very easy to use, implement, and very strong, as you can see from my other video that I'll put a link down below. Thank you very much to them for sending me these. I will be using them in that rack. Any questions or comments, let me know. I'll also put a link in the video down below to these for you guys to buy. Have a great day.